If you haven't already heard, Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download the app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, you're listening to Got Clutter? Get Organized, the podcast that focuses on helping you create space to attract more money, love, and happiness in your life. I am your host, Janet M. Taylor, and I want to say hello if you're a regular listener, and welcome if you're listening for the very first time. I hope you are having a great week, and of course, if you enjoy listening to this podcast, please leave a review so I can continue bringing you episodes each week. And I'm excited to share that you can support this podcast by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link in the show page, and I will give you a shout out on the air. Well, it is September. It looks like, feels like the months are passing by, but I'm excited because for those of you who've been following me for a while, know that September is my birthday month. (laughs) So I'm excited to kick off this month by sharing some strategies on how to jumpstart your fall organize. I will also be sharing my product app repurpose and book suggestion for this week. And my question for you this week is, do you want to get organized for the fall? And if so, what area do you want to focus on? Just one area or maybe two. So these are just some things and areas people focus on as we move into the fall season. They think about repairing or servicing appliances. They look at the electrical switches, outlets, and fixtures, the faucets, the fixtures, the pipes, service or repair, central AC. It's important depending on what part of the country you're from or around the world. Check the roof, trim the trees, and this is from Pro Home Advisor. So for those of you who may be listening for the very first time, I took my natural ability and started totally organized. I've been a government contractor. My celebrity clients include Les Brown and Deanna Williams. I am a corporate trainer conducting webinars for Fortune 500 firms. And in 2021, I conducted a webinar with over 500 attendees. I did over 100 webinars, but one in particular had over 500 attendees, and I enjoyed it. In 2018, I appeared on the Rachel Ray Show, where I was crowned the Blood of Free Queen, and you'll be able to see the picture of me and Peter Walsh and Rachel Ray and a fellow organizer on my website, and I also appeared on HGTV's Mission Organization. I've been a featured speaker for IKEA and the Philadelphia Home Show. Most of you know me as the host and producer of this weekly podcast, Got Clutter, Get Organized. And thanks to all of you listening in 2021, the podcast was ranked number one on the top 100 indie home and garden charts and number one in the top 100 home and garden chart, according to Good Pods. And I also serve on the advisory board for the business division of Pierce College. So that's just a little background about who I am for those of you listening for the very first time. So the areas you can focus on to jumpstart your fall organized. And I've kind of listed about, I always like to try to list maybe about 10 areas. And some of you may have already been starting on these areas. The first one is your closet. You know, be honest and begin to donate clothes and items you can't fit, have not worn in years. You can just have a little box, a bag by the closet every time you put on something and you're like, "Mm, it's got to go. You can put it in there when it gets full. You can donate it. Organize a coat closet because we're changing seasons. Just making sure that everything in there fits everybody and is wearable. And, you know, be sure to toss those umbrellas that are broken. The next area is those accessories to your devices. 
So, you know, you can locate them the first time, you know, put them in a clear bin, a beautiful basket, making sure that all the accessories match the devices that you currently have. And if you have given away, donated some accessories, some devices, then make sure you donate those accessories as well. Then you also, another area is you want to tackle the kitchen by donating items that you don't eat that may have a or that have expired and organizing those cabinets to better track your inventory because right now we really need to stay on top of what we have in our home pantries so we don't have to run out and get things that we um, actually already have in stock. The next thing is, and this is for all of you pet parents out there, donate those old blankets and pillows. And this is for anybody, though. But donate the old blankets and pillows to animal shelters. You know, contact your local animal shelter and find I cannot donate. But specifically for the pet parents, don't forget the food that your pet did not like that is still edible. Maybe, you know, you thought you you bought some food that they would love. They looked at it, they tasted it like, mm, this is not for me. And so, you know, donate that as well and see if the food, the animal shelters will take that. The next thing, you want to go through the bathroom and toss items you're not using. We have all done it. We bought something that maybe thought would make our hair shinier, thicker, you know, or something that will make our skin softer. And we tried it and for some reason it didn't work. Begin looking at those items. And of course, if they're unopened, then think about giving them away. Number seven, we're on seven. We've already talked about the closet, the coat closet, the accessories for our devices, the back kitchen, the blankets, the bathroom, the old stuff. Now, let's number seven, take your legal and find to talk to the legal and financial advisor in your life to discuss what documents you need to keep and you need to keep and organize them. And of course, make sure you have some type of protection for them waterproof and fireproof of course you know that you know i am promoting the grab and go it is wonderful all your documents are in a binder and then that binder fits in a waterproof and a fireproof pouch so make sure you check that out as well number eight toss what you don't need in the garage toss what you don't need recycle and then once you get rid of that then make sure you start donating whatever items you have in there as well number nine we're going to tackle that basement by removing again the trash and the recyclables next go through and donate and then of course organize what remains and number 10 i'm not sure if you're ready for number 10 pick up your phone and maybe look at your calendar and begin to purge. Purge people that you need to every year around Christmas. I have a friend she calls her like, Jana, I'm just calling to see if I, if I made the cut this year. Because I do. I really believe in doing a purge. Sometimes we need to get the negative people out of our lives. Or sometimes we just put numbers in our phone just so we can connect with people. And we never connect with them again. So think about purging there, but also look at your calendar. Look at those activities. Look at those things that are draining your time and your energy that you need to let go of. Those are my strategies for the fall. Now, I have some Taylor's Tip Time Fall Time Management Tips. Now, number one, you want to review existing time management tools and see what you have and see how you can use it better. You know, there's all different types of ways you can do with our calendars, we use our phones. So make sure you know what type of things you can do to help better manage your time. And maybe, you know, and number two is, do you need to add additional tools? Maybe your fall is going to be busy. It's going to be full. So do you need extra tools? Do you need a whiteboard, bulletin board, maybe some big, huge, colorful post-its? Number three, if you aren't, if you, excuse me, get a little tongue tied. If you are not already doing this, schedule weekly planning meetings. That means you sit down, whether it's by yourself or with family members, 
and you strategically plan the next week. Know when, you know, there's going to be grocery shopping, there's going to be um, cleaning, there's going to be laundry, but also making sure you keep track specifically when you have children of what's going on in their lives for the coming week, projects, rehearsals, etc. Number four, block out time you need for projects, whatever your project is. It could be like me, you're deciding to repaint the fireplace, or maybe you're deciding to organize a closet, or maybe you're deciding to get a jump start on making some really nice little holiday and seasonal decorations. Block out your time. And number five is the most important of my fall time management tips is plan me time. Make sure you have time in your schedule for yourself. So, as you know, I have been organizing for almost over 28 years now, going on 29. And I have really seen a lot of different things, you know, and I see what happens firsthand when people do not organize. When you do not organize the paperwork in your life, it just is a trickle effect because the paperwork may be related to health. The paperwork is related to finances. The paperwork may be related to some important documentation you need your career, your business. And I want to help you organize that paperwork. Those estate documents, medical information, property information, business information, because when you don't have your business information, this is all for all of you people listening who are business owners. When you don't have that organized and you want to go for additional financing, it delays it. And this is something I really haven't shared, but when those PP with the PP, PP PL loans were out, were, were, were being made available, at that time, there was a lot of things going on in my life. You know, of course, that was March 2020. We all remember that. Well, of course, once they started shutting things down and we were in that kind of unknown phase, my calendar became empty. And not only that, um, the man I loved passed away. So it was just, I was just in a state of, of turmoil and shock. And I remember calling my banker and saying, I need some help. I don't know what else to do. And within three days, I had my money because I was organized. I was able to give her all of my, my financial documents, business documents. I mean, within three days, that money was deposited into my account. So if nothing else, for those of you who are listening who are business owners, get those documents organized. But also making sure you have your, you know, your estate documents, etc. So go to my contact page, schedule a free 15-minute session. This can all be done virtually as well. And for those of you who are local, of course, we can talk about me coming on site. So take the step necessary and start by doing something today. Go to the link in my show page. Well, of course, I always like to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you for following me on social media. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Thank you for your likes, your retweets, for your sharing. Please continue to follow me on all social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. And I have a board specifically for seasonal cleaning. So check it out. And don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel as well. Because we do have wonderful topics in regards to organized living so make sure you check you know the permission to pause organizing your paperwork making sure you organize your medical information uh, making sure you really think about organizing yourself before you die so all of those wonderful topics that are part of living an organized life and some upcoming topics I talked to a mother who has a child where she has to um, who has some medical challenges. So I talked to that mother. I talked to um, some upcoming is a woman who was divorced and how she's managing organization, a, bl- a mother from a blended family. I mean, I am so excited about some of the topics over on the YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out. And of course, if you are thinking about of getting your life organized, ladies. Don't get overwhelmed. Join my Facebook group, Living Life Totally Organized. It's a community of women 
and supporting each other on their journey to living a life that is totally organized and it is free to join well do you know what time it is do you know what time it is it is toss it tuesday time and this toss it tuesday i want you to think about some of the summer clothes that you haven't worn and possibly you didn't wear last year and the year before that (coughs) excuse me but also the other items those seasonal decorations maybe toys pool toys think about all of those things you haven't used and think about donating them as well well of course my app suggestion for this week because we are going into the fall is home zeta and it is a app that helps you really better manage the inventory in your home repairs cost of repairs um all different kind of renovations it helps you manage everything in one app so check it out my product suggestion is check out my amazon shop we've got a home section office section and a life section but also an organized library section of all the different books that can help you on your journey to living an organized life and on my pinterest page check out the and of course i said my pinterest page make sure you check out the home section as well and then my repurpose make sure you just kind of check out those boards on my Pinterest page um, because maybe you are going through your house and getting rid of stuff but then there's stuff that's sentimental so therefore you want to hold on to it a little bit longer so you know there may be some creative ways you can repurpose it and because it is a new month a new season and of course it'll be another year around the globe for me Um, I thought I would just kind of recommend one of my favorite books, which I have in the past, to move the cheese. And that's just about change. Who moved the cheese? And of course, you can get that book on my Amazon, in my Amazon shop, or you can get a free copy and a free 30-day trial from Audible. Again, you can get a free copy and a free 30-day trial from Audible. Just click the link in the show page. And my quote for this week is, if you change your mind, you have the ability to change your world. So just think about that for a moment. I'm excited. Upcoming podcasts include, I sit down with the author of one of the chicken mm, soup from the soul books. I am losing my voice and I'm excited. And she's going to be talking and we're going to be talking about Your Keys to Happiness, 101 Real Life Stories That Will Show You How to Improve Your Life. We're also going to be talking um, to a uh, fellow organizer about how to reclaim your space from that clutter. And because September is preparedness month on how we need to be organized as well as prepared. So I truly want to thank you for listening. Be sure to share this podcast with your family or friends and on your social media network. And again, let me know you enjoy listening to this podcast by leaving a review. And you can also support this podcast by buying me a cup of coffee. So visit my website at www.janetmtaylor.com. And until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day. But most of all, have an organized week. Organization is a quintessential element of a clutter-free life. Join me as we take this journey together. Along the way, we will find the necessary answers to your organizing dilemmas. My name is Janet M. Taylor, and you are listening to Got Clutter? Get Organized.